Once upon a time, there was a young man named Mr. Puffball. I'm going to tell you the story of Mr. Puffball today. Anyway, he was a young boy just living on a ship. Then he fell off. He was wondering, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing in this world? And then, he was, as he was just walking one day, a beautiful lady came out of nowhere. She was a very pretty pink lady. She was a lady puffball. She came off of a pen. As she was just standing there, beautiful as can be, Mr. Puffball thought to himself, Hunka, hunka. Mr. Puffball came over to the lady. The lady said hello with a big, beautiful smile. Mr. Puffball said, Howdy, girl. Um, he was very happy about the girl. He thought, Geez, this girl would be a really good wife one day. So he said, Hi, I'm Mr. Puffball. And then the lady said, Nice to meet you, Mr. Puffball. I'm Mrs. Puffball. Just call me Mrs. Puffball. He thought, okay, that was kind of weird, but I'll do it anyway. Hi, Mrs. Puffball. He said to the lovely lady. She s then the girl said, well, you're very nice. You look very handsome, too. He thought, what did she just call me? Anyway, he said, You're very lovely. You have a perfectly round eye. So pretty. And then the woman said, Yes, thank you. I like your kind of oval eye, too. Thank you, I guess, he said. He came up to the lady and said, would you like to be my girlfriend? The girl said, oh, in shock. She said, of course I would. And then they ran away as fast as they could. Nobody knows why they ran away. They just did for the whole day. They, they came back one day just to say, I love you. I love you too, baby. Then a few years later, they got married, and, well, she looks a bit fatter. Why are there babies kicking in her stomach? She was pregnant. She was going to have kids. She was going to have triplets, in fact. She was very excited for this matter. I don't know why she wanted to name her baby Batter. He thought, why, when there are many other names, like Mr. Puffball, Phoebe, and maybe E.E. -E. She thought, those are actually really good names. He thought, I was just joking, but you really think so? She said, yes, those shall be our kids, Phoebe, E.E., -E, and Mr. Puffball Jr. He thought, what a good idea, how better could it be? with the names Mr. Puffball Jr., Phoebe, and E.E. -E. They thought, she said, oh my gosh, I am in labor, I have to go have children. He thought, let's go, my dear, let's run away to heaven. Then one day they came back with happy as can be, with kids with the number of three. They all came in one by one just because their father wasn't done. He was doing something, just playing around, playing video games without a frown. The first one that came in was Mr. Puffball Jr. He was handsome as can be with a big hairdo as big as can be. Then his sister came in with a pixie haircut, as cute as can be, with a lot of luck. 
His sister Phoebe is so cute and small. They all love each other, one for all. Then the little boy Edie came in with a smile. He was kind of always a teary boy, but not in, but he hasn't been in a while. He just came in and sat by his his brothers and sister. And then the dad came in with a huge fat grin. He was so happy to see his family cute as can be. And then they decided, hey, I, then um, E.E. said, Daddy, I have to pee. He said, okay, there's a bathroom over there. Hurry up, make it quick. I don't have a lot of hair. And then um, they just loved each other so much, as cute as it can be, with the cutest, loving, darling, charming, happy family. The story continues very much. I just want to wish you all a lot of luck. I just want P happy as can be. I don't know why we're rhyming at all, you see. I just feel like it, you know? We just wanted to, see? Nobody knows why we're rhyming with Glee. Until one day, um sister just until one day somebody came in with a happy big fat grin hello people hello people how have you been my lovely lovely son with the best fat of grins mother mother where have you been i've just been over there grinding some grin making kids happy just like you, you will always be my sweet baby. Mwah. How come you aren't rhyming? But we all are. I don't know, because I don't like rhyming, you big fat boy. I can see you got kids and a big fat grandma. Well, anyway, I can see you got some kids. They are so cute. Got one, two, three. Why well, got three kids? I only had two. Because my wife was pregnant with Trump. Oh, you got a wife. Now I see this is how you got three. Well, yeah, I have a wife. She's right here. How would I get kids without a wife? That would be kind of weird. A little bit of spice. If you know what I mean. <laughs> then the grandma said, Hello, dear. You must be... You must be Mrs. Puffball. I am Granny. I am Granny Puffball. Nice to meet you. Hello, mother in law. Nice to meet you. I am glad to see you. Now, you got the cutest pair of kids. Well, it's not considered a pair since there's three. I just want you to know. I like to go tee hee hee. Wow, that was kind of perfect, thought the grandma. Since you had a card for it and all. And then as the family of five, cute as can be, stood there with all happiness and glee. Somebody came in as weird as can be. Out of nowhere, you see. They just came in because they won. They felt like it. Her name was Rachel. Beautiful as can be. Sister-in-law, thought Mr. Puffball. Nice to see you, said Mrs. Rachel. Who is this? said Mrs. Puffball. You be cheating on me? No way at all. This is just my brother's um, wife, as, as um, small as can be. Hey, I'm not small. You, you only have kids of three. Oh yeah, oh yeah, how many kids you got? I only got four, and it's kind of a lot. I only had two, see, wait, no, I'm so old I can't remember, but I think I had three. Oh wow, I'm pretty sure you did, Mr. Puffle's little brother, and then his um, little big brother. Did you got it right? 
and you're married to him, Mr. Fuzzball, see? Not his twin. They may look alike, but they're not twins at all. I just want you to know. They're adorable and cute. Almost the same thing. I will go over here with a big whiz bang. And with a family of five, as cute as can be. I just want you to know they have a completed family. No more kids. No more none. They just want you to know to make your life lots of fun. We are done. Now we're done. Now does anybody want to say anything before we go? Bye. Bye. One day, I will be like Daddy. No, you won't, for he is only three. No, I am not three, uh, for I am two. just want you to know I love Scooby-Doo. Have a nice life, everybody, thought the woman. And they, then they were done with a big family. With a happy family of five, plus Grandma, plus, plus Rachel. Have a good life. See you all later.